Does one's TRT protocol has to change when getting older? From our experience, uh, so far we haven't really encountered uh, anyone's TRT protocol needing to change. Uh, I would say, however, that we're always modifying someone's TRT program, you know, not always modifying it, but we're monitoring it. Um, we're running labs a couple times a year. We're checking in with our clients. We're seeing how they feel. We're having them come into the office and, uh, you know, we have a body composition scale at the office. So we're always tracking percentage body fat. And so we're always tracking general health. Uh, regardless of age, you know, we notice that people's, uh, how they metabolize the testosterone changes over time. Um, you know, we have some guys that as they, they need less testosterone over time, as they get in better shape, as they reduce body fat, um, their estrogen levels are obviously uh, being reduced a little bit and, um, you know, they're becoming healthier. They're having, uh, less body fat. And so oftentimes they need less testosterone than when they first started with us. Mm -hmm. So we're constantly monitoring lab work. And then as people change over time, um, we're, we're adjusting a dose as needed. In terms of uh, really elderly, now we all, our oldest client I think is about 75, very healthy for a 75 year old guy. Um, you know, I think he's around 15 to 18% body fat, feels amazing. And he's close to a similar dose to, you know, most of our other clients. And so nothing is needed to change regarding his particular protocol. So uh, we, we really just work with everyone on a case, case by case basis over time. And, and now, uh, as of now, we haven't had to modify anyone's, you know, protocol based on age specifically. Uh, but again, we're constantly running the lab work. We're constantly making adjustments. We're constantly trying to improve levels in health. And, you know, I'm not sure what will happen. It's, you know, somebody at 85, uh, might we need to reduce their dose a little bit? Um, you know, I guess we we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But so far, uh, so far, uh, you know, it, it, it's been a, uh, you know, dramatic improvement in, in, I think the general, uh, well-being of even our older clients in terms of their energy levels and how they feel and their physicality. And we, we also have, uh, some older females as well in their late sixties and early seventies. And they've also been able to reduce their body fat, um, you know, get in, in better health and just have a, uh, better general sense, uh, sense of overall well-being. So we haven't had to modify it yet. Um, I know that I'm, I'm planning on being on the same uh, protocol or similar protocol uh, until hopefully I'm about 100. So I got about, I'm hoping I have 49 more good years to go. I'm 50, I'm 51. So I'm shooting for the, uh, I'm shooting for uh, 100 and healthy. Yeah, well, you, know, you look 41, Brian. <laughs> ah, thanks, thanks. Likewise, likewise. Okay, thank you. Very interesting. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on the show again. Okay, it was a pleasure. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop, use the join button next to the subscribe. On mobile, use the join link in the description. And now give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.